So it's been a week since we got sent home from the visitor centre at Tomatum. Uh, we don't have a date yet uh, when we're going to be going back. Um, I'm not going to get into discussing uh, anything about that kind of thing. Um, but what that meant for me is that it's been a whole week since I've been able to talk to anybody about whiskey, which for me is a bit weird. So, uh, with that in mind, I decided I would do a couple of little videos on Instagram. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a couple of different things. I'll do some tastings. Uh, I've got a couple of little experiments in mind that I want to, I've been wanting to try out. Uh, and I'm also going to do some cocktails. I'm going to start off with a cocktail tonight, and actually that's quite timely, uh, given that just this afternoon, Prime Minister announced that pubs and clubs were to close from this evening. So, this weekend, you're going to be looking for ways to uh, recreate that experience, I guess at home and still be able to enjoy some of those cocktails that you would normally enjoy when you're out and about. So, tonight uh, I'm going to start off with a Highland Flat White Martini. So, Flat White Martini with a bit of a whiskey twist. So, for that we need whiskey, obviously. Uh, we need Baileys. In this case, I'm lactose intolerant, so uh, this is the almond Baileys. We need a coffee liqueur. Now this is a cold brew coffee liqueur that I have. We also of course need some coffee. Cold brew coffee, um, which I brew myself. Some little bits and pieces of bar tools, obviously. Cocktail shaker, the main tool you're going to need there. Um, got a couple of measures as well. Now, I know what some folk are going to be saying. Stuart, I don't have a cocktail shaker at all. Maybe not. Pretty sure you've probably all got something like this. Now, I haven't tried it using this, so this could go horribly wrong. So let's see what happens. So we're going to start with a double measure of Baileys. So 50 ml of Baileys going into both my travel cup, my uh, homemade shaker, as it were. 50 ml of the Baileys going into the actual Boston cocktail shaker. I put my double measure aside. In. Then we're going to do a single measure of whiskey. In this case, uh, I'm using Glenbardy. Nice light whiskey. Um, you could use pretty much any whiskey you wanted to. Uh, I'd say probably stick to something that's been quite heavily bourbon matured. Um, not too much sherry maturation in there, so uh, something like this. Um, Tomato Legacy would be great in this. Something like Monkey Shoulder, uh, Copper Dog, those types of whiskey. Something nice and light and gentle. So, a uh, single measure of this. Into each of them, slightly overflowing. Bit of a Scottish shaky arm there. Single measure, 25ml, if I can get this bottle open. 25 ml of cold brew coffee liqueur. Other coffee liqueurs are available. And that's our coffee liqueur. And then, of course, finally, coffee. So, uh, espresso shot roughly about 25 to 50 ml. So, we're going to go with 50 ml. This is all a wee bit experimental, I must admit. Um, I do make cocktails at home, uh, generally, but uh, I tend to avoid stuff that involves a shaker. Why? I'm lazy. So, take it down. Now this is where things could go wrong. Now, this is a decent cup, it, it screws quite tightly, so let's see how this works. So, these we're going to serve in a couple of chilled martini glasses. If you don't know martini glasses, don't worry about it. Use wine glasses. 
for that matter, use rocks glasses. Um, you don't need to serve it up uh, if you don't want to serve it up or if you haven't got the glassware to do so. Um, don't stress about that. So, made using a cocktail shaker. Pretty happy with how that looks. See how it looks out of Pouring is a bit slower, but and this cup is set up to not pour too much out, not to burn your face up when you're drinking a hot cup. To be honest, I think you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference looking at those. Garnish with a coffee bean if you so desire. I haven't got any, so I'm not going to bother. Let's see. That's really good. Really great. A bit of creaminess. Again, just that little bit of whiskey, which is slightly different flavour profile coming across than you would if you used vodka in there. So, yeah. Cheers.